Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Miss Serenity Smith Babies. And also you can follow me on my Facebook page is Miss Serenity Smith. Today I have Makai and Nina and they are both painted by me. Um, I have not began to root um, Nina yet. And I don't think I will start rooting her until I can actually finish her. I want to, when I start her, I want to go all the way through and get her rooted. I don't want to have too many heads already started and not finished like I did before. So um, she has three heads of, uh, ahead of her. One is uh, about 75% done and then we have... Ziggy and we have Makai so um, I just wanted to show them side by side and show the difference in their skin tones um, so one of the beauties about this hobby is that we can collect from a wide range of different sculptors different sculpts different faces different sizes and it always just makes it more fun to have a variety in your collection well for me it's what I like I love having you know multiple babies in my collection um I I really 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 love that um so that's that I um so as you guys know Kit Nina is Kit by Jennifer Sussman Price and she um, is painted by me and then you have we have uh, Hudson um, by Laura Sullivan Roy that is uh, now Micah that's painted and being rooted by me so two different sculptors two different um, two different skin tones Two different genders <laughs> so it's just fun um so I know I think I sh I'm pretty sure I showed Nina before but Nina has the whole jelly belly going on it's a squish squish she has a really jelly belly and then she has a full she has full armatures all the way from to the, her head her arms her shoulders her legs her hips her feet her her wrist um, actually not in her not in her hands but in her feet so her feet um which is pretty cool so posing is not an issue with either of these babies he also have you know the armatures in his um full body um through his arms his his hands uh, I mean his feet and um and in his you know like his neck so he can hold his pose in his head um for me it is the ultimate posing however it does limit the natural fall sometime um Nina does still have where her head falls back which I like that um I love when they have such posability but I prefer that they still have the falling of the head so that's my only one of my only things that I still like to have even with a full armature I feel like it kind of creates an illusion that the baby isn't really that stiff but um really they still are the only thing is moving is their head but um I still like it so and sometimes with the very soft armatures, what I've learned is that they allow a little bit of more, you know, stability in the posing, but it's not as firm of a, a firm hole like some of the more stronger armatures, which is kind of nice because you still get the, the, the fall, but not just flailing all over the place. So it's like it, it it's like the, uh, um, perfect mix so the best of both worlds 
if you want to say it like that. Um, so I really love having just a bunch of varieties of babies in my collection with different features and different things. Um, you know, it's just like I like having, you know, I do have babies with drinking wet, some without drinking wet, some with armatures, some without armatures. Um, and so I really, really, really love that. Um, let's see what else I like. Same with like collecting awake and asleep babies. I am more, as you can see, a sleeper person, but I do like some awake babies. Um, I love for my toddlers to be awake for the most part, but I have totally fell in love with Brooklyn being a big sleeper. Um, because we don't get as many big sleeping toddlers, um, I think it's really nice. But this funny, the funny thing about it is, I'm like, I used to be like, why are the toddlers sleeping? That's so crazy. But don't real toddlers sleep still? <laughs> so it's like, you know, sometimes our thought process with these dolls is not even realistic when we're screaming. All we want is realism because really no toddler just sits up 24 seven and never go to sleep. So, um, you know, and I kind of touched on that before. It's just like some of the things we put on babies and then, you know, and it's always this back and forth for what's real and what's not. I think Again, it's the best of both worlds. We get to have realism, but also create our own, use our imagination and create our own dream or um, fantasy child. Like, you know, our, you know, if it was highly likely that I would have a darker complexion baby, but that's something I really, really wanted, I can create that. And be able to have that in a doll form. Um, even if it's less common for that to happen with my genetics and, you know, my background. Um, or vice versa. Or, or a very light skinned baby. Or even a white baby. Um, <laughs> uh, it just, you know, but we're able to do that with the dolls. And so I've learned over time to leave people alone with what they like. I can still have my commentary and laugh and be like, girl, why that baby hair all the way down to her hips and she's only two months old. But at the same time, I respect this is what they wanted. This is what they want to do. If they want to put benton, benton knots or whatever you call it in the, in the baby head, you know, they needed to have length. So maybe that's why they did it. They want baby have a whole big fro and it's a micro preemie hey it is what it is you know that this is what we pay our money for to get exactly what we want um and when i you know paint and root you know i paint and root what i love and that's one of the things of why another reason why i prefer not to do customs as well because sometimes people request things that i would not normally see in a baby or like in a baby and it really doesn't um, come across well when you're doing something you do not enjoy or love or believe in so um just like making the devil go to church okay i usually don't use religion or politics in in, in my channel but oh well we're gonna leave that one in now but yeah um so there's that. Um, I <laughs> that threw me off. I'm like, ah, I don't feel like editing that out. But anyway, um, so yeah, I just wanted to show them, and uh, just I hope that um, my next baby. <sighs> I always when I start painting another baby, like see when I have a baby that I really really like and it comes out really really good, I'm always afraid that the next one is gonna like pale in comparison to that baby or I'm, I'm not gonna get it right or you know that type thing but I'm not gonna worry about it I'm just gonna work and we're gonna see what's gonna happen um it was so funny because with Nina I took forever to paint this baby and it you don't know how many times that she's just been had another whole 
uh, container sitting on top of her container and me working on other babies while she's just there. Um, how many times I've been like, okay, I got to hold on to my color swatches to make sure that <laughs> that I match, you know, front and back and all this and stuff. It, it was crazy because I took, like I said, forever to paint her. Um, didn't know what skin tone she was going to be. And in fact, I thought she was going to be darker because before I matted her, her color looked a lot different. So I thought she was going to be a darker baby, but turns out she did not. Um, but she still ended up being a really nice color in my opinion. Um, so, but as you can see, her and uh, Micah is very different in their, their coloring. So anyway, that is all. I will talk to you guys later. I'm got to go figure out how to be able to upload straight from my computer to Instagram to this new subscription thing that I'm trying out there. But, um, it looks like it's not going to let me. So I'm going to give it a day or so and see if it updates and it allows me to. But if it don't, I guess I'll have to do a different type of recording, which sucks because the quality is not going to be the same. So... All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.